Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the Putnam Mathematical Competition 2018. It says, find all positive integers n that is less than 10 to 100, for which n divides 2 to the n, a minus 1 divides 2 to the n minus 1, and a minus 2 divides 2 to the n minus 2. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is another very simple and elegant problem, is that we only have um, very few conditions of n and they look all look very simple. And another very special one is that n is less than 10 to 100, but this doesn't seem very useful at this point, so we're going to um, put this aside. To solve this problem, I need one very important result for this, just to and to iterate, as in I keep using that again and again. I call this a lemma, is that for natural numbers A and B, the greatest common divisor, GCD, of 2 to the A minus 1 and 2 to the B minus 1 equals 2 to the power GCD of A and B minus 1. So I'm expressing a GCD just by writing a bracket uh, between two numbers. Now, to show this, I'm going to imitate the Euclidean algorithm is that by letting, so I, maybe I should say, Wolock assume that A is the larger one. Okay, or they are just simple, they are just equal. Now, I'm going to let A equals some Q times B, Q for quotient, B plus R, R for remainder, where R is between 0 and B. Of course, it cannot be B, but it can be, but it can be 0. Then, I can rewrite this um, GCD as the GCD of this expression, actually I'm just rewriting 2 to the a minus 1. And I can rewrite this expression into this. Now, the first two terms, these two, has a common factor, 2 to the r, and what's inside the bracket should be 2 to the QB minus 1 plus 2 to the R minus 1. Now, note that this expression, 2 to the QB minus 1, is actually divisible by 2 to the B minus 1. So, by Euclidean algorithm, I can say that it's equal to the GCD of 2 to the R minus 1 and 2 to the B minus 1. Now, if we are working on the Euclidean algorithm, GCD of A and B is actually equal to RB, and then um, according to the algorithm, we are supposed to divide B by R, and then keep the, keep the R, and then write the remainder, say R1, and so on, and iterate, and it will um, stop eventually, because um, all the numbers are positive, and it keeps decreasing, so... It's bounded below, so it must um, stop at some point. Now, we are actually imitating the Euclidean algorithm, and so by this, we can actually say that this will hold. And of course, 2 to the GCD of AB minus 1 will surely divide these two, these two expressions, 2 to the A minus 1 and 2 to the B minus 1. So here's the lemma. Now I'm going to use, keep using this lemma to um, finish this problem. So I'm going to write um, my solution at the right. Now because n divides 2 to the n, we know that all the factors of 2 to the n are simply powers of 2 that are less than or equal to, with the index that is less than or equal to n, so I can just let n to be uh, 2 to the k. 
some k that is between 0 and n. Okay, now I'm going to put this into the other uh, relation, which is 2 to the k minus 1 would then divide 2 to the 2 to the k minus 1. Now, from the lemma, GCD of 2 to the 2 to the k minus 1 and 2 to the k minus 1 is equal to 2 to the GCD of 2 to the k and k minus 1. And we know that because of, this, because of the divisibility, because of this line, we can tell that the left-hand side is just 2 to the k minus 1, simply because it divides it. So then this equals to this expression. Now, it's pretty obvious that um, both, for both sides to be equal, we must have the index to be equal. Or, in other words, you can simply consider the binary representation of both sides. Then, k is then equal to 2 to the k, the GCD of 2 to the k and k. And that means k divides 2 to the k. This is actually uh, what we have been using at the top here. So then we can let k to be equal to 2 to the m sum m between 0 and k. Now we put this into n, then n equals 2 to the 2 to the m, and this number minus 2 would then divide 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the m minus 2. Okay, towers of powers. Now, I can rewrite this as an equation. I can rewrite this as some big m times 2 to the m minus 2 sum big m well it should be just natural numbers now after rewriting this as an equation I can simply divide both sides by 2 and so 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the m minus 1 beware of where you write the minus 1 it should be at the same level as the 2 to the 2 to the m covering three indices and then uh, minus 1 here, another minus 1 and this should be equal to the same big m times 2 to the 2 to the m minus 1 minus 1 now I, now I can deduce that this thing divides 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the m minus 1 this power and then minus 1 now from previous results using a similar argument I can say that 2 to the m minus 1 divides 2 to the 2 to the m minus 1 and I can use the similar argument again m divides 2 to the m and so we know that we can let m equals 2 to the a sum a that is between 0 and m and so therefore n is equal to 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the a for some natural number a now Apparently, we have used all the conditions and we've deduced that to satisfy all three um, divisibility relations, n has to be this tower, of uh, this tower of powers. And now we have to bring in the last constraint on n, which is that n is less than 10 to 100. Now, the final question is, can we give a bound on 10 to the 100 in terms of powers of 2 because we know that n is now just a power a very very big power of 2 
Now I can rewrite this as 10 to the, or I can say it's uh, 1000 to the power 33 times 10 because I'm going to make use of the fact that 2 to the 10 is 1024, uh, almost the closest power almost the closest power of 2 to powers of 10. Now I can say this is less than less than 1024 to the power 33 times uh, 2 to the 4. So 1000 is less than 10 to the 24, uh, 1024 and then 10 is less than 2 to the 4. So this will equal to 2 to the power 334. So we know that this power, 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the a, has to be less than 2 to the power 334. So then I don't think that would leave many choice, choices for a. We can just try one by one. When a equals 0, then then this term would equal to 2 to the 1, which is 2. And if a is 1, then this term is 4. Maybe I should also write the value of n, and that is simply, uh, that should be simply 2 to the 2, which is 4, and that is 16. And when a is 2, this should be 2 to the 4, which is 16, and then n should be 2 to the power 16. And for this, this will become 2 to the 8, which is 2, 5, 6. I think we're very close to the limit, very close to the bound. And then n is equal to 2 to the 2, 5, 6. And apparently it should satisfy all the, relate, all the requirements, and these four numbers will be our final answers. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.